hello guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for um, watching this video subscribe if this video helps you out so i'm making this video because i have spent like the past five hours trying to figure out how to connect my equity account to my um name cheat domain that i bought so I finally figured out how to do it. So I want to share it with you. I've searched and I've searched YouTube videos and nobody had exactly what I needed. A lot of sites was connected Equit to um, Shopify um, or they were uh, connecting it to GoDaddy. So this video is is for connecting Equit to Namecheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in. And once you log in. We're going to start with the Equit page and we're going to go to website. Okay, we're going to go to website right there. And once you get to website, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select where it says change URL. So we're going to click right there on change URL. Now you're most likely going to have something right here in this subdomain, but if you're trying to connect your own domain, you don't want to use that. So you want to use um, your own domain. So you're going to click right there on your own domain and whatever domain you've purchased from Namecheap, you're going to put into here. Once you put that into this um, box you're going to copy this IP address because you're going to use that later on so step one is to log in to um, Namecheap step two is to create an A record and then step three is to create a C name so we're going to go ahead and do these three steps over at Namecheap once you finish at this site which really the only thing you do here is to put in your domain name you're going to click save okay so once you click save you're going to go over to your um, name cheap account all right and then we're going to sign in here hopefully i remember this um victory products online.com oh it's just victory products is the username uh, but my website is victoryproductsonline.com. Go ahead and shop there. If you see anything that you like, I would appreciate the purchase. Okay, so this. Okay, so once you log in, it is actually not going to go straight to this page. I had a hard time figuring out how to even get here. So the way that you get here is you can just click on um, um, the messages. And once you click on your messages from whatever page that you're at, it's going to bring up the receipt that you purchased your do domain with. And if you exit out of that, it will bring you to this page here. Okay. So once you get to this page here, you're going to click on domain list. Then you're going to look at the domain that you're trying to manage and you're going to click manage. Once you get to this manage site, okay, you're going to go over to advanced DNS. Advanced DNS. Now, you're going to scroll down. Remember I said that we were going to add two things here. We we're going to name a, uh, add an A record and a C name record, okay? So, the way you do this is you go to add new record because on your screen, what you're going to see is two things that's already pre-filled here. Don't worry about that. You're going to delete that once you add the two things that you need to name uh, to add. OK, so the way you add a new record is you go to add new record. You go to a record because that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to put the at symbol and then you're going to put the a the IP address, which is probably the same as this. Um but it may not be. So whatever a uh, IP address that you copied um, when I told you to do that, you're just going to paste it there. Okay, then you can put this on automatic and then you hit the green checkbox to save. Now, I'm not going to hit the green checkbox to save because I already set mine up. So I'm going to exit out of that. So the second record you're going to add is this C name record. Okay, so we're going to click add new. We're going to scroll down to our C name record. Now, this is going to be the www. You're going to put www there. Um, and that's just so that when people type in your domain name, they can type in 
um, the domain with WW or without it, and it will still go there. And then right here on this target, what you're going to put there is the domain that you purchased, okay? So if you do, if your if your um domain that you purchased was i love jesus.com, you're going to put i love jesus.com there. My domain that I purchased um from cheap name is victoryproductsonline.com. So I'm going to paste victory productsonline.com there and i'm going to set that to automatic and again you're going to just hit that green check mark and click um save so yes okay good so it's saved now you can go ahead and open up a new tab so when you open up a new tab you are going to type your domain name in so mine is victory productsonline.com so if you type your domain name in you're going to receive an error page saying that you know the data was not sent and the reason that you're going to receive that is because you um you have to wait 48 hours for well the site says that you're going to have to wait 48 hours for the everything to connect right but i literally just did it and it connected like 20 to 30 minutes later so i would say within the hour it will connect but you will get that error page first so don't get don't you know don't go crazy thinking you messed something up you're just going to have to be patient and that's pretty much it so you see um my donate my domain is connected right that www.victoryproductsonline.com it is connected and it's as simple as that guys so it's literally three steps um and you're done the first step is to go to equit put that website in under the change url put your domain in under the change url the second step is to create this a record with your ip address from um your equity site the third step is the c name record with the domain you purchased and you are all done so i really hope that this video helped you and saved you some time if it did help subscribe below and add a comment all right have a blessed day